guys and welcome to the video and I hope you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we're venturing to a place called Rougie Cemetery, aka Wolsey Road Cemetery and it was opened in 1884. There are two entrances into the Rougely Cemetery, one being this one here, which is the old chancel, and the other one is on Walsley Road. However, the Rougely Cemetery joins the old chancel's grounds. cemetery is approximately four and a half acres in size and is only one mile outside of the Rugeley town centre. Whoa. That's crazy guys, look how that coffin is left there, or the grave is left like that. Wow. Wow. Look at the detail work on that one. Looks like that grave decided to get swallowed up by nature. Just look at that. Does that tree done all that? Oh, these look like a group of graves. Very smart. Wait, these are war graves. The, uh, the Rougie Cemetery um, contains uh, 42 Commonwealth War graves from the First World War and 11 from the Second World War. Must admit, I do like the uh, attention to detail in uh, some of these graves. Here you go, look like we've got another war grave just there, guys. We have a squirrel. Oh, he's scared away. Hmm, something's really got my um, curiosity here, guys. Now if I zoom in there, there is a wall there, right? But it's really complex him. Hmm. Yeah. I 
Right, I think before we go into that section over there, guys, I believe it's that time for a coffee and a bit of a break, sit down, and I'm going to be looking at my maps because that area doesn't look like it used to be a part of this area here. Discovered that the grounds of the Rougie Cemetery was extended because if you look at this map now, as you can see, the area that I'm circling is where the wall is, right? However, if you look at this map, the former grounds of the old Church Dell's house is now a part of this cemetery. So guys, this is the area that I was talking about, it is the new part of the cemetery. Oh, I like these. Wow. Wow. This is the Trent and Mersey Canal. between 67 and 68 bridge. Hmm. Okay. This looks like it used to be some sort of a, a platform. It used to go, I don't know why it's broken in that section there between there and here. But let's have a look on the map right now, guys. Right, yeah, this looks like an area where they used to, you know, get on and off, I suppose, the canal system. There's so much more room that they could put more graves in the area there. But unfortunately this uh, cemetery is not taking any more burials or any more cremations in this, on this uh, ground. Strange place to have a, uh, a manhole cover there. Must be like a water source nearby because if you look at the map right now you can see that there's a bit of water there. Wonder how many of you watched um, Adventure 15 Style Cop Cemetery. This is what they put on top the graves when they've uh, dug out the area. So this must have not been used for some time then. That's a lovely statue. Do you know what? It doesn't matter wherever I go, I always find the trees fascinating. The thing I find more fascinating is where they grow. Just look at this tree over here, right? Oh, we have a squirrel. God, this is the closest I've ever got to a squirrel, guys. As I was saying about where how things grow, you look over here, right, and this tree is literally like grown on where the the gravestones are. And another prime example here. That's grew up between two graves. You know, I love looking at old graves. 
See, one thing I like to do whenever I go to a churchyard, graveyard, cemetery or anything like that is I try to find the oldest grave or the oldest tomb and see how far back that actually goes. I was absolutely spot on with the extension that's happened to the uh, cemetery. But unfortunately this is where I'm going to have to love and leave you for this adventure. I want to say thank you guys for coming by and I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on my next one. And do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. Alright, bye-zy-bye.